Hello and welcome to Rising Cousins and I am Nabiha and we are going to start the biology chapter of standard 8. If you want notes and MCQs for this chapter, you can find it on www.risingcousins.com. Part 1 So let's get to the point and start the chapter that is microorganisms, friend and foe. So microorganisms were not only before human beings, they were before dinosaurs too. And Actually, microorganisms were evolved 3.7 billion years ago. And do you know, Earth formed 4.5 billion years ago. Isn't it amazing? So, let's see more about these interesting microorganisms. So, they are so small that they cannot be seen with unaided eye. A microscope is needed to see these microorganisms. Microorganisms such as fungi can be seen with the help of magnifying glass. The study of microorganisms is called as microbiology and the scientists who study microorganisms are called as microbiologists. So let's see the types of microorganisms that are bacteria, fungi, protozoa and algae. Let's see every of them in detail. So first is bacteria. They are smallest and the oldest organism. They are unicellular and antibiotics are bacteria killing bomb. And do you know bacteria came before dawn? Like really, example of examples of bacteria are Lactobacillus, which helps in the formation of gut, or we can call it dahi in Hindi. And the second example is Streptococcus. So, so let's see the types of bacteria. They are bacilli, rod shaped, vibrio, comma shaped, cocci, which is spherical shape, spirilla, which is spiral shape. So bacilli, which is rod shaped, here. Yeah like Vibrios is comma shaped and cocci is spherical shaped and spirilla is spiral shaped. So this is a simple chart which shows types of cocci, bacilli, spirilla and Vibrios. So this is a simple but interesting fact that is a gram of soil typically contains about 40 million bacterial cells. So next type of microorganism is fungi. They can be microscopic and unicellular such as yeasts and molds or macroscopic and multicellular such as mushrooms. They lack like chlorophyll so they derive nutrition from dead and decaying matter. Next type is protozoa. It is animal-like organism and it is group of unicellular organisms. Example is, examples are bacteria, amoeba, paramecium, euglena, etc. So next type is algae. They are plant-like organisms, contain chlorophyll and can be unicellular such as chlamydomonas or multicellular such as seaweeds. Some unicellular algae exist in colonies such as chlorella and diatoms. Next is virus. So I actually they are not included in the category of microorganisms because they show no sign of life when they are outside the body of host. When they enter the body of hosts like plants, animals or bacteria, they reproduce. They are so, so, so small that they cannot be seen with ordinary microscope. Uh, electron microscope is needed to see these microorganisms in the virus. Example is tobacco mosaic virus, TMV. Simple but interesting question that is, where do microorganisms live? Hmm? They can be found in snowy regions or in the cracks of sea floors or in ocean, seas, lakes, ponds. Or in desert regions or in volcanic regions. But microorganisms can also be found in the human body. And there are many microorganisms in human body. And you know there are 100 trillion microorganisms in human body. And just 3% of body mass is covered by this microorganism. This is the end of part 1 video of this chapter. Please do like and comment. And please subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.